you know, Wall Street dictates a lot of patterns, especially uh, as, as a, an industry scales up and gets larger. Uh, but the small facilities, uh, there's a lot of opportunity there, right? There's a lot of mom and pops that run them because none of the big guys want to deal with them. Not a lot of competition. Recently, there's been a lot of competition. But really, I think that the, the opportunity lies where you can, even with all the competition now, you can go in there and prove these assets. There's still a good margin on them. And like AJ saying, there's an actually an exit. Like in, in the past, it's alluring when you're a new investor. You want to get into any deal you can, right, in the beginning, which is not a bad thing, you know, because you want to get your feet wet. You want to actually get some reps and understand the business. But then for me, when I started out in every asset class, I didn't have the comprehensive view of the whole picture. You know, one, not even having enough reserves in the bank to if things go wrong. But secondly, is on the exit. So like, who's actually going to buy this at the end of the day? And that was a challenge, you know, especially when you got smaller assets. Now things have been shifted up, and our industry is more, I would say, the flavor of, of the market right now, if you look at all the other asset classes. So I think the, the, the good thing is, I mean, you still got to be disciplined, prudent in what you buy and what you can get it to. Uh, but at the end of the day, you can slide in there, wedge yourself in. And, and our sweet spot is around that forty to 70,000 square feet, where we operate mostly in the Northeast. And you know, AJ, he's in a lot of other markets than us, but we our advice from some of the public REITs when we have our conversations at, at the storage shows is, you know, we don't want the 100,000, you know, because we, we have other towns within 30, 40 minutes away. We don't want to poach from our other facilities, you know, and we build for ourselves, but we always want to know on the exit what's out there. And they're saying, you know, the cost of releasing it up, if you have the demographics and you can get in and make it a profit off of this 40 to 70,000 square feet, keep it small, keep it nimble here so we can continue to, to not have to poach from our other facilities. And, and that's where your highest margins are going to be. But I, you know, to anyone trying to get into business, and, and what AJ and I always talk about is you know, it, it always comes down to rates and revenue. right? The business is really revenue management. That's, it's all about the income. You can only do so much on the expense side. So for us, we've been really disciplined about not getting into markets where there's low, low rents. Because I mean, We've had nightmares of being in uh, a, a town in northern Nevada where I, for seven years I could not raise rents. You know, no barriers to entry. This older man just kept building for the fun of it and I just I couldn't move the needle and you know I, I just don't want to see anyone in here where you're getting six seven eight dollar rents annually you know it it costs us the same to build all over the country so there's nowhere to go so I think we as nimble you know kind of smaller investors we got to dictate where we want to be to, to really maximize the opportunity cost of our time so that's that's my piece of advice for people that are trying to grow in the industry